Hang on, today I'm going to test review these uh, Quadra Quadro Accent 850. Yeah, and these speakers they were built between 2000 and 2004, I think. I'm not sure. And they are popular speakers because I see uh, when they are on the Dutch eBay, uh, they got a lot of bits. Yeah, and. Uh, well, I bought the speakers. I bought the speakers because, because I will show you. Well, first the price was good. I paid 150 euro for these speakers, a center speaker, the same center speaker from the series. And uh, let I show you this 28 hertz. Yeah, this is what they're writing. 28 hertz frequency response. Yeah, and uh, here you have the connection. And the thing is, the thing is that. I love, I like bass heavy speakers and well my Magnat 07 start with 26 Hz so the difference between 26 Hz and 28 Hz is a difference but it should not be a big difference and that's why I bought these speakers because I love well the looks what's the difference between these speakers the more beautiful small slim speakers and these old magnat speakers from me yeah <laughs> the ugly magnats and that's why i thought okay okay let's try out these speakers you know i i, I hope they really are 28 hertz and then i came home i tested these speakers and i was very well disappointed they don't sound bad yeah but i would never be happy with these speakers i and I will explain, like, uh, no, I will let you hear why this is the case. Well, this is the Quadral, yeah. I later switch over to speaker B, yeah, that's now speaker A, and then you hear the 07s. <laughs> So as you heard, the mids from the quadrals are much stronger, yeah, and well, I already talked with a guy and I explained him my problems with my Magnat 07 and he told me, well, maybe, maybe the filters are bad, maybe you have to renew the filters, the filter caps inside the speaker, and then maybe your mid is coming back from this 07 and I, I, I really hope that's the case I'm not sure if that's the case but maybe this is just the sound of 07 I'm not sure but this is the Quadral so there's no way you can compare the bass from the Quadrals with the 07 uh, it's also a fact that the quadrals have a better mids, that's true, but what is a speaker without a perfect bass? And normally 28 hertz can give a perfect bass, yeah, because my old Magnat 05 had 30 hertz, and 30 hertz sounds beautiful in the bass, yeah. So 28 hertz should sound better than those. Zero fives, but they don't. Yeah, they don't. Let me try another station. Well, oh, that's the difference. That's the difference. <laughs> it's so clear. This difference, and that I, <clears throat> well, I paid 150 euro for these speakers and. Uh, well, I will sell them for 150 euro. I tried to sell them for 160 because I, I spent some gasoline money, yeah. So I hope I will get that, that money back. But I, I think that will be not a problem. They are popular speakers because of the looks, and the specs. The specs are good, but yeah, in reality, these speakers what costed 1400 euro when new in the shop, yeah, 1400. I think you could also buy them for 1000 euro a pair in the end well 
Like I told many times before, you can't or it is very hard to find speakers under 1000 euro in the shops nowadays. What will make you happy? Yeah, if if you want a good sound, yeah, buy second hand. Yeah, better you spend 1000 euro second hand for speakers. Yeah, than you buy speakers new in the shop for 1000 euro because these 1000 euro speakers in the shop they won't make you happy and uh, well it all depends what is your your degree in audio what what you expect from the sound yeah and uh, most my viewers yeah, are like me yeah they want the perfect sound they know exactly what is a good or a bad sound yeah and uh, because you are, are experienced and you you heard different speakers in the past and you know exactly what you heard when you visit your friends what sound you heard and so you know exactly what is the the good sound yeah and the good sound is not the quadro accent 850 these these speakers were built i think they are suitable for a 5.1 set because they were built in a 5.1 set yes together with small bookshelf speakers a a subwoofer and a uh, center speaker the base i also have this center speaker i bought it with the set but i'm not interested in that center speaker because well i, don't, I will not use it yeah and uh, i only interested in these towers these these big towers and well, I'm, I'm very disappointed really very disappointed in these speakers i i thought much about these speakers i thought well these speakers are uh, 1400 euro new list price yeah uh, 28 hertz yeah and uh, well i gift I, I really before i tested them out in my house even when i bought the speakers i was in the house you saw that movie yeah the score movie i i tested these speakers on well on on, on very quickly on a small amplifier and I thought that the sound was good. I really, when I was driving home, I was a very happy guy, really a happy guy, until I connected these speakers to this Akai amp and well... <laughs> this, is, this is how it sounds. Let me play my, uh, my MP3 player. Let me see. Well, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the quadros, and listen to the zero sevens. That's the difference, and uh, that's why I'm a little bit upset and disappointed, really, because I really thought these speakers were the speakers I was looking for. Well, I have still another opportunity. <coughs> I will sell these speakers. I hope I will get the same money back. I, I invested 150 euro, and I try to sell them for 160 because I, well, <clears throat> I also drove. I also use my gasoline money, and <clears throat> if I have to calculate my gasoline money, because if I don't calculate my gasoline money, I I will lose too much money. Yeah, and. Uh, I already lost a lot of money with my Sony ES set. I just bought this set. You will see the video soon online. Yeah, I paid too much for that set. I, the money I can never get back. So I hope I can have 160 euro. I paid 150, and I hope I can get back 160 euro for these speakers because and I have to to sell them as soon as possible because. I'm not happy with these speakers. It is not even a doubting video that I think from. Well, well, what I had with the uh, the Infinities. You remember the big Infinity SM uh, speakers with the very big bass woofer. For a while, I loved those speakers more than my Magnat 07. But after a while, I get tired from those speakers and I return to my Magnat speakers, speakers I never get tired from. And these speakers, they just sound hollow, cheap. Yeah, uh, 
I'm, I, I heard speakers from, bought, I bought speakers from 50 euro, what sounds better than these speakers. And, well, and I'm also 100% sure the older quadrals, the older quadrals, you know, you remember those Pronolog gold speakers, quadral, Pronolog gold, I think they cost about second hand, about 350 euro. I think those speakers can beat my Magnat 7s easy. Yeah, they are. But I'm afraid to buy <coughs> these speakers because, uh, well, because of the tweeters, yeah, the, the special tweeters inside, they are very sensitive. The, the tweeters in these speakers, well, if one of these speakers broke, you can throw away these speakers. That's why I don't buy these speakers. But I'm 100% sure they sound better than my Magnat 07s. And, but those quadrals, those were the real quadrals. And, well, I think quadrals still make good speakers, but not this series. This series is meant to be a, well, this was, this was the top of the line of the series, yes, the biggest speaker, the 850, the Accent 850, but it was meant to be part of a 5.1 set, so together with a subwoofer, a sender speakers and some rear speakers, yeah. They were not meant, they're not suitable for stereo speakers, not, not suitable at all. And that's why I am a little bit disappointed because I thought they were, I thought they were 28 hertz, yeah. I think speaker factories lie, they lie the same as those car factories, yeah. You can drive so many kilometers with one gallon of gasoline and uh, <laughs> like Volkswagen, you know, Volkswagen was the biggest liar of them all, but they all lie, yeah, they all lie, and also speaker companies nowadays lie, and well, if, if I'm going to review the uh, the white van speakers, you will see that they also lie very much, but that's normal because they are white van speakers, they don't have a a famous brand. Quadral is a famous brand. You shouldn't lie. You shouldn't lie to your customers. Yeah, a customer buy these speakers online. A lot of people now these days buy speakers online. They don't go to the shops to test speakers anymore. And so they expect when these speakers arrive in their house, yeah, a speaker what can reach the 28 hertz. Yeah, and now well, these speakers are no 28 hertz. No, no, no. One more time, the quadrals. Oh, that's not a good sound. Listen to the quadrals. You heard the difference with the bass? <laughs> The difference is so big that I can understand. Wow. Well, I'm not sure. At, uh, sound taste is different for everybody, you know. I, I'm sure when. I have other people in my house and I will test these speakers for them. Some of them will say, well, I prefer the Quadras, yeah, and uh, I'm 100% sure of that because they have a nice sweet mid-tone. Let me try another song. is okay, the highs are okay, sweet highs, sweet mids, but uh, for me total sound is, well, if, 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 if I don't hear bass, for me the fun is over, you know, I, I have to hear that bass, that, that deep, heavy bass, and uh, I miss that bass completely with these quadros, and well, once again, once again, I was fooled, once again I was fooled, by thinking that specs are true, specs factories give these days are true, 
but uh, as you can see the only way to 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 know if a speaker is good is to test them out yeah because the sound can be so different what you expect from the specs because listen to this well enough of the speakers but I will not take too many time to the speakers that's why I will keep this sh uh, video short and uh, well I hope you like this video thanks for watching put your thumbs up don't forget to subscribe on my channel and uh, for now I say bye bye